how are you all doing? I hope you are all having a great weekend. It is actually sunny outside today, which is nice. Steve and Nathan are out there at the moment just tinkering around. Steve's trying to keep Nathan occupied so I can get this um, haul up for you. Because it's been sitting in my bedroom for a couple of weeks. Because it got delivered right at the end of the summer holidays. Um, and obviously the summer holidays was absolutely chaotic anyway. Trying to get um, videos and that done for you guys. And then the chaos of um, getting the kids back to school and everything. It's just been a whirlwind. And the weeks have just flown by. I can't believe the summer holidays came and went and now they're back at school. But they're all settled in, they're enjoying it, Nathan's back at nursery, mummy is adapting, <laughs> shall we say. But um, today, Steve's got Nathan out there, so you'll probably hear him because we are in, a be in my bedroom. And the camera is in front of my bedroom window today, and the windows are open. So chances are you'll hear him coming and going and all that lot. Just having a mouthful of my drink. Got a bit of a dry mouth today. Um... So the haul I've got for you today, as you can tell by the thumbnail, is a Timu haul. I've done, I've ordered from there once before and it was really nice. Uh, I bought kind of a mixture of items this time. I've got some dresses that I wanted to try. I've got some casual clothes and then I've got some autumn bits. I'm a bit getting a bit festive. I'm enjoying that. I like all the autumn colours and decorating now. I think it's great. That the UK now are kind of taking on all the seasons like other countries do like the US and that because originally Halloween wasn't a big thing over here baby showers weren't um, gender reveals weren't and now they are a big thing and same as decorating your house for the seasons like spring you put flowers out autumn Halloween it is really becoming a big thing and I am loving it because decorating your house for just Christmas once a year is a bit boring. You know, it's at least changing with the seasons, it stops you wanting to decorate, doesn't it? And like change all the furniture and everything around and paint every room and all that lot. Bear with me one second, guys. I've got a cat trying to get in. Come here, Sai. Come here. Come here, Sai. Come here. Right, I'll leave the door open a minute and then if she comes in, she comes in. She's coming in now. It was Sophia. So I'm going to get on and start showing you item by item what I got from Timu. She's on to the camera now, so she'll probably pop up. I've got one big bag, so I'm going to put that on the floor. Then I've got another big bag. And then I've got a big box. So, as you could tell by the picture on the box, it's three laundry baskets on wheels. And I thought this would come in handy for those days when I struggle to do the washing and um, lift heavy baskets. Because if it's on wheels, then I could just push it, pull it. I could even get Nathan to wheel it around for me if I need to. So... Obviously, I'm going to have to put this together for you off camera and then I'll insert a photo up in the corner for you. But I got it in white. They had multiple different versions of this. But if I just get it out of the box without throwing it everywhere. Did I get it in white or is it grey? I think it's kind of like a stony kind of colour. Plastic. I'm just going to throw all my rubbish everywhere. Oh, it's a bit smaller than I was expecting, but it will do. So these are the two little baskets that go on top. I'd say they're a little bit bigger than a washing up bowl. Okay. So they go on top. And then the other one underneath is about that. Probably double size. So a load of washing really. Which will fill up. <laughs> in um, one day with my family but um, I'll push that to a side I will put that together and like I said I will put a photo up in the corner for you so you guys can see what it looks like all together so that was just the instructions 
go shove that over there. Okay, right. Let's do item by item. Do we go to the left bag or the right bag? We'll do the right bag. First item is a dress. Okay. Now, I will model these dresses for you. And I'll put a photo on the screen. Because I'm not going to be... Um, changing in front of you guys and taking the time and all that lot now so i'll just insert them this dress when i ordered it i was thinking it'd be good for my cousin cousin's wedding and um looking at it now it is very very big it is a lot bigger than i was expecting i mean i like the slip there's a slip that goes at the front and it is very thin material, but it does kind of remind me of a, a plate set, which doesn't do, the photo didn't do it just, or this doesn't do the photo justice. So um, there's not a very good way I can show you the dress without kind of modeling it. So I've got a dress, I'll take a photo or a little video and I'll put it on the screen for you so you can see me modelling it and what I think of it, whether it's too big or the style, I'll kind of put a little comment down there whether I'll keep it or whether it'll be going. At the moment it's kind of 50-50 because the style of it I'm not too sure on. Right, next item I will be able to show you really well. It is a pack of four cushion covers. They are fall or autumn cushion covers. And I've already got cushions, so I'm going to shuffle back so you can see these in clear frame. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All the pumpkins and grasses and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. They had loads and loads of autumnal decorations. I went for like the more neutral beigey ones. So there's that one. They had the nice greens, they had some pinks. That's, is that like the other one? Or is it a bit darker? It's the same, <laughs> I had to think then. It is the same, so I've got two cushions the same in this set. And then, is that the same? No, this, this one says something different. There we go. There we go. And I'll put my cushions in these and then they'll get packed away when it comes to Christmas. Put them there. They're definitely going to stay because I love them. And then here, an unusual one. I can say though, guys, in this haul, there's nothing to see. Yeah, no, I didn't get him nothing this time. And he didn't add nothing to my basket. So there's that. Sorry about the rustling. Now these are hooks or sticky pads that go on the wall that you can clip your brooms mops all that lot into so that is the sticky pad that goes on the wall and then this is the hook slide that on there like that goes like that on the wall and then you just slide your mop handle or broom in there and then it holds them up off the wall and stops any little three-year-olds running off with your brooms and mops. And in this set, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. So I'll probably put them up in my utility room. And then some kitcheny bits. I've got some measuring cups. I'll get the measuring spoons next time. But here... I'm not going to cut the the um, thingy thing, but the cable tie thingy thing. It is measuring cups, multicoloured handles, metal on a string. So again, what I do with these is I will um, get a suction cup hook, stick it in one of my cupboards, and then I'll hang these up there so that they don't get mixed up with all my other utensils. And then I struggle to find the measuring cups. You know, you know when you need a certain size for um, cooking, and then you just can't find it. Now this is something for Haley for Christmas. Haley loves 
little knickknacks, little pretty things and all that lot. She is what we call our little magpie, okay? If she likes the look of something, she will have it. So we have to be very careful with her. And she always ends up with little crystals or um, little beads and stuff from my friend's houses or from school. So here, I ordered her 10 for now of these little, look here, these little cute stones in the shapes of stars. And they're all different styles. So we've got blue ones. They come at random. So you can't choose what types you want or what patterns. I ordered just 10 for now to see how they come. But um, I think she's absolutely going to love these. I might order her a few more. Maybe a different shape. She's got stars. I've got hearts in the bag as well. So these are absolutely going to be lovely. I think this one's well cool. Look at this. Look at the pretty colours on it. It's white with blues and yellows and everything. So... That was only a couple of quid, you know. Just some little nicky nacky bits for my kids. Sometimes it's the simplest things that my kids love the most. And then I got a kitchen gadget for me. It is something I've been looking at for quite some time. A grater, like with a handle, so you crank it. So I don't have to struggle to grate cheese and carrots and stuff. And um, also to make it a bit more fun for the children when I ask for them to help me in the kitchen. Then um, they can help them, can't they? Throwing the utensil bits about. Really well wrapped and packaged. Get it out. So that is the main compartment. Suction cups to the counter. And then I'm guessing you just put the cheese in this bit. Or in that bit. Then you push it down. You've got all the attachment blade so this is a slicer then we've got a grater and then we've got a fine grater so it makes it fine bits so that goes in there like that then we have a handle so we can crank it so I'm guessing that goes on there like that somehow. Oh, I see. If I could put it together, there we go. See, it goes on like that. And then you spinny spinny and it grates the cheese or whatever you want. So that's all good. I'm looking forward to using that and soaking the kiddies. I'm just throwing it all in a pile now. Um, one second. Sorry about that guys, Chloe needed a birthday card for her friend. Next item is this 52 week money saving challenge envelope booklet. There we go. Okay, I do like to save money. Although you might guys, you guys might think I like to spend money, but I like to do a bit of both. And at the moment we are trying to save as much money as we can. And I am more of a visual person rather than just seeing it build up in the bank. I'd rather like to see it in front of me and then it makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. So this saving challenge is 52 weeks and then every day of the week, or every week, sorry, because there's different ones, you put the certain amount of number in each envelope. So for week two, you put £2 in. Week three, you put three pound in week four you put four pound in and then by the time you get to 52 weeks you've got a nice lump sum in your savings and then once that's all in there then you can do what you want with it spend it put it in savings in a bank account and all that lot. and here comes nathan one second sorry about that guys nathan just ran behind me and he's in just a nappy today because it's hot He's now in the wet room having a shower, so you're probably going to hear him. So I'm going to have to get this done now, because it sounds like Daddy's struggling to entertain him. Um, this is for Hayley. It's kind of a joke bag. It's called Shark Week. Any woman can um, know what that means, and um, sooner or later that is going to happen for Hayley. And I thought this would be good to go in her bag with all her little feminine bits that she's going to need. That only costs a couple of quid anyway. Um, and then we've got some big bulky items 
we have some of these transportable serving dishes with all the compartments in that. I'll take it out of the packaging. So rusty, everything is individually wrapped. So this one that I chose has one, two, three, four, five compartments, different colours, hand up lids like that, so you can carry it. And then you just pull the lid off. There we go. So it's like that. And then each of these trays can come out. I thought that would be good for when we have company round and we have all the sweets out and sweetie treats and platters or when um, we have movie night and stuff like that. Kids all love that sort of stuff. And then something else that I was thinking for along those lines. I've got two of them so I'm just going to show you one. It is the kind of travel container that everyone is raving about at the moment where they use them for movie nights again i'm rustling sorry take these on car trips which we have got one coming up next month it's my cousin's wedding and um, the drive is a couple of hours away so i could fill these up with snacks for nathan and the other children I say Nathan mainly because he is a snacker rather than a meal eater. So I could just fill this up with loads of little snacks. Again, it's got handles, so we easy carryable, car carryable, carry, clippy lids, and then off it comes. Individual compartments, and then if you don't want them like have the compartments you just have it as a transportable tray which would come in really handy for cookies biscuits if you call them that cupcakes because we've got the the baking season coming up in december don't we we do a lot of baking then so if you're doing some baking and taking it to people's houses that would be fantastic there and then here comes shane shane i'm recording Thank you very much. I think I just thought I was talking to myself. Right, one, two, three, four. Is it just four more items in it? No, five. Five more items in this bag. So we will go with this. It is a brush and it is to clean out the lint out of my tumble dryer. There we go. So I can give my tumble dryer a good clean. You can poke that down there and get out all the lint and keep it clean and less of a fire hazard. These are the pink, well I say pink, there's pink, there's purple. They're the heart stones that I was just showing you the star version. I might actually take some photos of these because the uh, video might not do it justice and um, show you and put them on the screen so you can actually see how pretty these are and I really do think I'm going to order Hayley some more of these and then she can just keep them in a little pot, a little trinket pot and that because you know she just likes pretty things, I mean what girl doesn't like pretty things, so there's a nice pretty one, so there was 10 there and then again you can get a, a bigger quantity but I thought I'd just get 10 for now and see how we get on with them. Here we have another chain, uh, savings challenge binder. This is a 100 envelope saving challenge. Okay, So in here, it's a beautiful folder. I mean you don't have to use it for like it says, you just cover that over or ignore it. In here it's a lever arch folder, you can put your cards in there. It comes with these, I'm not going to do it justice, I'll insert photos of this so you can see what it looks like on the app and all that lot. It's little plastic wallets that are individually packed, like sectioned out, so you've got one, two, three, four there. And then what you do is sort of like the other challenge, it has these stickers that you put on each of the envelopes, on each of the, of the sections of the wallet. And then whatever number it says, you put that amount of money in. So on one day you put one pound, two pound, three pound, all that lot, up to a hundred pounds a day. 
not that you can do that or is it a week whatever you want to do a day a week a month but at the end of this challenge you would have saved five thousand and fifty pounds so yeah that would take me a long time to do because i wouldn't do it every week it'd probably be once a month or something like that or see how much money spare change we have and then just fill out as and, men, as and when you can do it I'll have to figure that out really I just like the look of it and I like all these savings challenges and I like watching people do budget videos and stuff so I mean don't get me wrong it's something I don't think I would do on YouTube but um, I like the look of it and I like watching them now in this box it looks a bit of a funny thing but this goes in the fish tank and it attaches to the front of the glass by this bit and then you cover all around it with the gravel and then all the fishies or shrimp that I have in my tank can go down there and then you can see them up close and personal at the front of the glass and they think they're nice and safe because no other fishies can get to them. There we go. They had loads of this. They had um, tunnels, um, great big cav uh, caves and stuff like that. But I just got this one to see what it was like. It was like £2.50. And then this is a money tin. A money saving tin. There we go. Comes with the keys. And it's locked. So I've got to get the keys off. Somehow. I can't get the keys off. Hey, well, I'll speed through this bit so you don't have to see me struggle. Right, got the key off. And in here you have a tray for your coins and then obviously your money in there. And then it's safe to keep money in the house. Right, second bag. We have another dress. The problem with Timu is you don't know what size you're going to be because one thing fits you from there in one size and then the, another item might not. So I can tell you this, I don't like it. It is not what I was expecting. It's... um off the shoulder kind of thing stretched around the waist dress but I don't like the pattern it's kind of it's not my style so I will try it on and I'll model it for you guys but I'm pretty sure that is going to be going back to the shop so I'll put that over there then we have <clears throat> a funny thing it's going to go up in my utility room. It is a lost sock bag. It's going to go up on the wall because everyone always has lost socks. I'm going to have to put it together and then hang it on a hook in there. It goes like that and then anytime I find some odd socks, I'm just going to stick them in here and then when I've got quite a lot in there, I will just pair them all up and then if that sock has been in here for some time, I'm just going to bin it because then you would have known that you're not going to find it if you haven't found it for a while. Now, we've got another box. Ah. Some autumn decorations. In here, we have some beautiful palm grass, I think it is, and some seedy things nice pretty reefs really there's that because i like having these in um, little vases around and these are quite short you can get them in so many different multi multi packs of um, quantities you can get them in like 66 count 33 count this doesn't say how many is in here but i'll put what i've ordered on the screen so you can see what it looked like so there's them and then for them to go in i ordered this if i can get into it bear with me i'm gonna have to go get some scissors right 
went back. I'm sorry guys, this video is turning into a really long one. I wasn't planning on it being this long. But I'm trying to get I'm gonna try and get this done as quick as I can. In here we have three little vases. <laughs> and they are porcelain. This one kind of reminds me of the old-fashioned milk bottles that you used to get. But these are what I got for those grasses to go in. I thought they'd look nice in the hallway. Or oh, oh that one was stuck in. There's a little one. So it was a three set that I got. And they've even given you some little string, like rope things, so you can tie it around there to add a bit of decoration to these. And then if I can get the last one out cute little short dumpy one so it's a three set absolutely lovely there we go. again you can get these in different colors i chose this color i do i'm a bit boring i like to keep my decorations kind of plain neutral colors now in this box we have some more grasses and stuff but these are more autumnal with a bit more coloring so it's got a bit of orange a bit of brown let's take them out of here but it's different types as well this is kind of a seeded grass and you've got more of the palm spring thingies and then you've got like hocks or whatever I think they are which adds a bit of orange these are probably going to go up on the shelf above my sofa in those vases oh and they're they're, they're molting so I better be careful with them and then last but not least of that type, <laughs> I didn't realise I ordered three lots of this. I think this is the same as the first lot, but it's a bigger quantity, like a bigger bunch. Look, there's a load more in there. So these will be going in the vases. There's a load of grasses, seeds. I suppose I better be really careful with the cats to make sure they don't get hold of these. These are probably gonna go up high out of the cat's reach so that they don't start attacking them. Then, and then I'm gonna get the last few items out and put them on the bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, so there's six more items. Okay, we've got another piece of clothing, which is, Kind of like a jersey kind of jumpery thing it's not very thick material so it's kind of good for not a cold day but not a hot day either where you want something a bit you want to feel cozy but it's not really freezing outside and then on here it says ah if i could hold it this is my too tired to function sweatshirt and I thought that would be great to wear on those days I'm doing housework and I'm too tired to give two hoops because of Nathan. So I will try that on in a minute. We have another item of clothing. And this is a t-shirt. Again, grey. And then on here, I will show you in a minute, there's nothing I can't do except the reach to reach the top shelf I can't do that there we go there's nothing I can't do except reach the top shelf I can't do that because I am only five foot two so I thought that would be funny I do like all the stuff that Timu do um, with like comical things written on the thing oh Nathan wants to come out oh guys you could not make this stuff up Steve and Nathan have had a shower and then I've had to quickly hit the pause button because they're just <laughs> strolling out of there without even batting an eyelid. And you guys do not want to see that. Right, let's try and get this video done because Nathan's dried off and then he's just bowled it out in the garden again. And he's, he's, like, he's like an animal, he's like being outside. One more item, here we go. We have a dress. I really wanted this one to look nice, I really do. But... The colour I'm not keen on. It's not, see it's coming out a nice green on there, but it's not here. It's more of like a forest green and I'm not that kind of girl. Um, I 
Oh, for God's sake, Hannah, come on. There we go. It's very low cut. And I don't think a mummy could pull that off. It's cut outside, so it's got the band, which I did like. And obviously, it's the dress. I will put this on and I will show you what that looks like. I've shown you those two bits. One more outfit -y thing. Another green dress. I just thought I'd give their clothes a go because I've got a few tops and that from them and a jumper and I enjoyed them and they're really comfy. And then obviously I need to update my wardrobe but then again I need to go through it because I've got so many clothes that I just don't wear. This kind of, I've got a feeling it's not going to do any flattering. Granted it'll be nice and comfy, it's like a t-shirt material. Maybe it'd be nice just to wear around the house on those comfy days that are too hot to wear trousers and that. But again, I will try that on for you in a minute. Um, then we have something for Nathan that I think is going to be absolutely great. Some cookie cutters, dinosaurs. So they cut this dinosaur out and then you can press the dinosaur detail onto it. Now these won't be used for cookies, I'll give them to him to play with his Play-Doh because it's cheaper to buy real cookie cutters than Play-Doh cutters. So there's them and then showing you that. Last two items, savings, challenging things. Because I do something called cash envelope savings, I thought these would be good and these are like little challenge cards. So on here it is the 100 envelope challenge and then every time you put money in one of those envelopes you colour it off to the number that you've filled in. Then there's like a eat out challenge so you can save some money to eat out. Every time you spend, save some money you can colour one of them in, £20 you can colour a burger in, save £50 you can colour a milkshake in. And these are double sided as well, so you can use them twice. Um, a birthday fund, which is nice. There's loads here, there's 10 I think this challenge was. But there's multiple there, I'll just show you quickly. So there's that butterfly one and it's double sided. You've got the eat out one, double sided. You've got a savings challenge tracker. You got the 100 envelope challenge. You got the 52 week challenge. And then we've got a hundred a thousand pound savings challenge. So 25 pounds you get to colour a heart in. And then we have this one which is RMS, the no, RM5 savings challenge. So it's um, every time you have five pounds, put that in savings, cut colour a circle off. Um, small things savings challenge that's really pretty that one birthday one and then a 20 pounds challenge every time you have 20 pounds spare you can save it and color that off so again these are great for if you are a visual saver and you can't you don't get satisfaction and that drive to save by just putting it in the bank sounds like my washing machine's about to take off so there's them and then something just like that, again, savings challenges, but these are the actual envelopes challenges. So rather than putting it in a binder in like a plastic wallet, these challenges are cardboard envelopes. So the money that you are saving with this challenge, you could just stick in there and then it's safe and secure. So again, these are like the thousand pound one, birthday one, I've got Nathan banging at the door now, so I'm going to have to hurry up. Savings challenge. Like, these are all the same, except these are wallets rather than the just bits of card. Okay, so I am sorry this video has gone on for some time. And I'm sorry we have been disturbed. But that is family life here where you have four children and a husband. It is, it is manic. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please, can you hit the thumbs up button? 
so that I know you enjoyed this and I will keep doing content like this for you. And then please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Not all my videos are chaotic and manic like this, same as they're not as long as this, always. Sometimes they are. But um, if you like this type of video, then do subscribe and then hit the notification bell so that YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video. And it doesn't cost you a single thing, but it will tell you that I've uploaded one and then you can choose whether you want to watch that one or whether it's not really your style and then just skip it. But um, I'm going to get this lot put away and I'm going to model those clothes. I'm going to then insert that on the video for you and I'm going to go see what my little toddler wants with me. So take care guys and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.